All right, so last week, Matthew Madden Paul went on some huge Paris Bay game well again Flanders recon rides. So they're huge in fact, in terms of that, normalized pretty high for a training ride at least. And um, he's smacked some segments and you know, seen you can sort of see the form he's in, so it's pretty interesting. Uh, so first up is the old Paris Bay three hours. 334 normalized, which is what we'd love to see. Average speed 36k an hour, which is nice. Uh, there's a lot of efforts here. I've documented them here. I've done a bit of land turn here. Um, so you can see, you know, four minutes, 410 watts. Arenberg couldn't find the actual segment, but 363 normalized for 21 minutes, which is pretty solid. Um, and in, all of these are pretty decent numbers. They're not crazy, but you have to remember this is on cobbles. And if you ever ridden on cobbles on the flat, it's pretty hard to do power. His peak normalized power for 20 minutes was 390 watts. So pretty solid outing. Um, you can sort of see it. It's always interesting to look at that heart rate at 137 for 250 watts at the end. Um, and then maybe just look at the beginning. And you can see it's like 130 for 270. So, um, no, 119 for 270. So you can see he's like pretty tired at the end. Sure. Like it's not an easy day because if it wasn't that hard, then the heart rate would be obviously very similar. Um, so you can see he's def definitely fatigued. Um, kilojoules of the day is 3000, which is a pretty solid day, um, for three and a half hours. Um, so well, three hours on the dot. Uh, next, we've got Flanders. Um, obviously, this is significantly more hilly than the Roubaix. Average still 35, normalized slightly higher, 342 watts. And um, he whacked some good segments here today. We can see the peak power, 1287 for five seconds. He hit 1400 max. Um, this was up the Wolvenberg, I believe, um, which is pretty solid here. I think, yeah, oh, sorry, the Eichenberg, uh, 768 watts for 30 seconds. Um, in terms of peak normalized power, um, this was interesting to see 20 minutes at 410 watts, um, which I think was uh, going up at Koppenberg. Uh, so yeah, it was a pretty solid day out. In terms of kilojoules, again, 4,000 kilojoules, so uh, a lot higher. Um, and yeah, so we'll, we'll go over to Flanders now. Um, so you can see some pretty num good numbers here, like 481 watts for the Quermont on the first lap. Um, then at the end of the ride, after 3,400 kilojoules of work, um, he did 505 watts, which I think was probably like him trying to emulate what would be in the pattern, what would be the finale of Flanders. Maybe, obviously, work-wise, it would be more like 5,000 to 6,000 kilojoules. Uh, he did a Quermont Paterberg combo, 640 watts. Uh, the Paterberg, again, is pretty solid. And you can see all these numbers are pretty strong here. Um, so, you know, he's looking in, in pretty good shape. 560 watts for two minutes is pretty impressive. Obviously, he's not like super skinny, like 75 kilos, but it's still... Still pretty solid effort nonetheless, um, and back to back to back is good to see. Um, ride length in time isn't very long, you know, obviously he's probably used to seven hours or so, his straw, but we don't get to see much. Um, and then we've got Gem Webb Gem, uh, 330 normalized again, three hours. Um, so, you know, it's decent days back to back to back. Uh, he did some pretty pretty good climbing here, like up the Kemmelberg, he did 500 watts it's for a minute 38 but if you sort of get the perfect segment it's like more more like 533 and that was after doing the the montberg monteberg before um so together the, you know the whole thing is pretty impressive and you know it's a solid day out uh it wasn't, the, the numbers weren't as mental uh i put them down here again well game as well like um that wasn't bad um camel work west 471 it was peak normalized was 406 so again pretty solid i had a zwift race um which is like Zwift racing is boring, really, in terms of analyzing generally because it's like pretty flat. But 411 normalized for the race, which is about 45 minutes long, 425 um, normalized for the 20 minutes. Peak one minute 640, peak five seconds 1025, which is pretty impressive on an indoor training. It's not obviously, you know, it's going to be as high as what you can do outside. Um, here's the file here. Um, he's, yeah, so it's, it's pretty pretty good numbers. I think Battle is going to do very well. Um, I made a video, it's linked in the description, about his power from Amstel Gold the, the year before. Um, that was unbelievable, um, absolutely unbelievable. The last half an hour was like 400 watts, um, and then you let you know lend himself out 600 watts for a minute, and then hit. I think it was 1400 watts in the sprint. Right, it was absolutely mental. But um, yeah, so anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy um, this sort of breakdown of Van der Poel's training. If you want me to do anyone else who's on Strava, I Pagacha's on there. I could do that. Uh, Bernal's obviously on there. There's some pretty big names on there. So if you want me to do anyone um, who's on Strava, um, analyze that training, see what they're doing. Um, then yeah, we definitely can. We'll just know on Bernal he did a 49 hour training week the other week. Absolutely mental. No, 39 I think it was. Anyway, it's, it's mental. I've never seen people train that much really, but I guess he's the only Grand Tour contender who really uploads properly apart from Bardet and Pino to sort of do, but I've never seen the hours as crazy as Bernal's.
Hey, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy, and I'll see you next.